Hello, love. Welcome to Transmission Tuesdays here on the Libra and Key. These are messages of a transmissional nature, of a galactic or cosmic nature for the highest and greatest good of the Elsh Collective, empaths, lightworkers, starseeds, and healers, awakened and awakening souls. Know that if this message has found you and or if you have found it that there is something here for you, that is always the intention that I put into these messages. If you're returning, thank you for being here, family, sending you so much love wherever you are. And if you are new here, a very warm and loving welcome to you. The Whale and Orca Elders. Ooh. The Whale and Orca Elders and the energy of, I'm, this is a new one. This is new. The Whale and Orca Elders and the energy of Sirius coming through for this message as well. I am getting uh, just a blanketing of this blue energy coming through right now. I'm seeing the High Priestess. This can also be connected to Mother Isis. Oh my God. It, see, it just came out of the blue. Pardon the, <laughs> the pun here. But there's reason for that is what they're showing me. There's a reason why we say out of the blue. Out of the ether, out of the sky, out of the sea, the color blue, okay? Originally going into this message, it was just the whale and orca elders coming in. Now I know that there are whales connected to the realm of the Syrians. I personally am not very familiar with it. But for that energy to be coming through, this may be resonating for some of you, for some of us, because that is a very specific thing. Again, felt like it just came out of left field, but that nothing is ever random, right? Okay, they want me to go ahead and show you the crystals that I am working with, working with the energies here of Apophyllite and Celestite, okay? This was pretty much the impetus to start the celestite crystal coming through immediately um, alerting me to the whale and orca elders and a message that they want to share with us. It feels like it wants to be very much a message of comfort in some way, but also a sort of clarity coming through a little bit more definiteness of purpose they're directing me that with the Apophyllite here. That's very interesting because Apophyllite has a very, it's got a higher water content as a crystal in terms of its actual makeup, its physical structure. And they're showing me this particular uh, structure in it. And I'm also being directed to the fact that Apophyllite it comes from the Greek word philo. So like, uh, uh, really, it's here it means like layers, right? Philo can also be uh, translated as a leaf, right? But they're showing me apophilo, like the layers that are being built up here. That's interesting. And this sort of clarity of vision is what I'm getting with that because they're showing me this like, an, uh, like the point of an arrow. I am recording this, and I just want to bring in the time here, on Sunday, July 21st, 2024, and this is for the Transformation Tuesday's message, July 30th, 2024. So taking all of that into consideration, isn't that interesting? As I went to go put this down, they want me to show that I'm pointing this downwards. Okay, so at this point in time, we've already... We are currently in a now waning phase, as I record this, of the full moon, the blue moon. Again, they're bringing in the energy of blue here. The blue moon that we had in Capricorn, the full moon, the second full moon, right? In the cycle of the sign. 
And what they're directing me to is that energy coming off of that energy, reverberating that energy, how that energy will be reverberating for six months out into the new year in 2025. They're also directing me to the fact I'm, I'm getting, I'm hearing like emotional hangover. Okay. And I, and they don't, this isn't, this is essentially um, why they're coming in because July in general, and I am by no means a, a professional astrologer, um, or have I been like really diving deeply into this, but they're showing me in general, and from what I have come across from a couple of sources, more than a couple maybe now, um, just a handful really, of sources regarding just the, I'm hearing like overhauling of emotions because of what's happening astrologically this month and what has already happened astrologically this month. It's an intense month, right? Especially with those two full moons. Um, I think the first was on July 1st or around there and then the second one being or I can't remember, June, June, that's, sorry, it was June, and the numbers being significant as well with that. Okay, but without getting too off topic, they're simply pointing me to the fact that we've had to kind of dive deep, okay? Some of us really feeling that energy of having gone deep into those waters, especially as the moon wanes, and we go into a crone phase with the moon, this sort of releasing, that they're really giving me that quite a bit, the releasing of energy that's transpired over the last week. Um, and they just keep on bringing in this energy of water and light. So this is exactly why the celestite is coming through for this particular message. I always see celestite like light, whether it's sunlight or moonlight, hitting water. And there's something about this combination, and I've spoken about this before, and recently I had a really beautiful synchronicity pop up with regard to the first time I ever listened to Pam Gregory, the astrologer, um, in one of her videos speak about biophotons. And I know that there's something again going on astrologically with that, with regard to certain dwarf planets. I cannot remember off the top of my head what those are, but it's connected to this mermaid Neptunian energy. And it's very much this, a really beautiful confirmation. And maybe look into this yourself if you're feeling pulled with regard to this. I think the name is Silesia. I can't remember. It's something, it starts with an S though. And um, I'm also getting, I'm also getting Sedna coming through here, but that's it. Just something about that. Again, if you're watching this, it could be something that resonates for you. Maybe there's something to look into there. What essentially is, and the, the whale and orca elders and the Syrian connection to these whales is coming through to speak of is this importance of light and water. Water being consciousness, water being the thing that connects us all as a unifying field in that respect. Funny enough though, I'm also getting the energies of air and water coming through for that. And I'm seeing, even though I personally don't have this deck, but I believe it's Diane, Cooper's deck where there's a dragon in that particular deck, the dragon deck that she has. It's like an air and water dragon. And that's the energy that's coming through. I'm seeing a lot of greens and I'm seeing a lot of blues. And as I look down at my space deck here, I'm now realizing that I have green and blue in front of me because I'm going to be asking through the Healing Waters Oracle and this Seeds of Intention cards. This is literally what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this energy of air and water as connecting us to the higher realms, but also to the emotional depths within each and every one of us. The Healing Waters Oracle, Seeds of Intention. These are the uh, cards that I'm going to be asking through. <sighs> okay, let me just get centered on this because there's a lot coming through. And I find also 
water and air energy is very interesting elementally because they reflect each other. And how I'm being shown that is through color because they're bringing me back to this blue energy again. And this Syrian collective connected to the whales and this realm of like, I'm seeing like whales and dolphins, especially. I'm seeing all of that very much connected to that blue ray. Also, if you rec if you resonate with being a blue ray star seed, this could be also something that you are connected to. They're, they're showing me the sensitivity in the color blue. They're showing me the sensitivity in water, especially. But they're really emphasizing this connection to higher realms through air and water elementally. So how does that translate to us here physically? I always want to bring it down to earth, right? Thank you, Archangel Sandalphon. Always reminding me, bringing it down to earth, right? This goes back to previous messages where we've been given guidance around being close to water, the importance of negative ions, the importance of breathing, of taking in the air around us. The best possible situation, what they're showing me with that is actually being close to water and breathing in the air. And I'm actually being shown negative ions like through the atmosphere in the air because they're showing me how it's when the water hits the air that we get the negative ions. And that's where we have it enter our bodies as we breathe and we're also energetically pulling that in as well through our energetic field. They're also showing me taking salt baths as well. Showers, the same thing. Speaking to the water, we've talked about this before, right? Water is consciousness. Water, water talk about being a sponge, right? Water is exactly that. It's interesting that they're giving me that analogy because that's what we use to absorb water. Sponges are a thing we use to absorb water. And they're also showing me through the sponge the energy of clearing, the energy of cleansing. Now, when it comes to light, light is magnified by water. And that's what they're getting at with this. So part of this process, and I just have a feeling that this is going to be connected even more to solar flares, to solar energy, all of that coming up, right? And this sort of activation that's taken place or is currently taking place with regard to our own light bodies and our bio photons and us taking in more information in that respect and the energy of air, water, and light assisting us in that. I'm going to end it there. They want me to start asking now through the cards, okay? First through the seeds of intention. So they are giving these to me as affirmations or mantras. This is just sort of a free-for-all. I want to see what's going to come through here with regard to mantras that we can be saying to ourselves at this moment in time to assist us on our journeys. Again, they're bringing in this energy of comfort. This energy of comfort. I'm seeing... And they keep on showing me so much water imagery here. I'm seeing, interesting, I'm seeing the spear. I'm seeing the trident. And they're showing me the Ida Pingala, the two, the two channels, and then the pillar that's, I'm seeing divine feminine, divine masculine, the gold, the silver, and the pillar of light that unifies both, okay? So there's a lot of balancing going on here. These mantras, these intentions can help us in this I honor my feelings. That's such a watery, beautiful affirmation. I honor my feelings. I know that I'm beautiful. I know that I'm beautiful. Oh my God. I know that I'm more than enough. I know that I'm more than enough. And at the bottom of the deck, I nourish myself. I nourish myself. I honor my feelings. I know that I'm beautiful. I know that I'm more than enough. I nourish myself, okay? 
for whenever you see this reading, this message, this video, embracing these, they're really emphasizing that they're actually literally shedding light on this right now. Like I'm seeing them ripple this light across this, okay? Gonna be asking now through the healing waters. They just want me to shuffle. They don't want me to read, cutting the deck. It feels like this is gonna be a very clean, is what I'm hearing, straightforward message. I'm literally seeing like clear water and ripples. The surface of water, they want to bring clarity right now to each and every one of us. Clarity to our soul is what I'm hearing. It's not a coincidence in any way that this is the Healing Waters Oracle because they're emphasizing tremendously right now the energy of water and its ability to heal. And they're even showing me us physically taking a bath, for example, or a shower and speaking to the water and asking the water to heal us, asking the water to assist in our healing, to assist in our integration, to assist in our cleansing, to assist in our strengthening is what I'm hearing, to assist in our ability to open up even more to our nourishment, our own nourishment, to self-care, to self-love is what I'm getting, to honoring our feelings, to reaffirming that we are beautiful, each and every one of us to reaffirming that we are more than enough with all of these affirmations coming through. That is how this is a this is a reintegration of oh my goodness, programming of the self is how they're showing it to me. So just like we can program crystals, we can program water. And we can through os osmosis is how there's and absorption is how they're showing it to me, take in that energetically, okay? The wellspring what are you thirsty for? Body care. Take a breath. Yeah. It feels like these energies, and they're really directing me to like the past seven days, you know, the past week or so, just a kind of energy of being through the, like having gone through the ringer right? Metaphorically speaking. It's interesting because they're actually showing me a ringer. When you wash clothes, like water, being wrung out of something. That's so interesting. That's so interesting. And there's, and it's like going through the ringer and feeling like, and that that's where this water energy is wanting to come in. To hydrate again. What are you thirsty for? To hydrate again, to hydrate that piece of clothing. They're showing this to me metaphorically and they keep on showing me the sun as well and the light hitting, hitting the water with that. Okay, take a breath. So I'm just gonna hold this image up because it is very activating is what they're showing to me because this is like a cocoon of water. And this is how they're showing me us embraced by the water, whether we're taking baths, whether we're swimming, you know, if that's available to us. in a natural, as natural as you can possibly get, right? They're even, it's interesting, even, even they're even showing me a pool, like a saltwater pool. They're showing me a pool and they're showing me just the feeling of being embraced in the water. Even if it's like a public pool, you know? Because your intention is everything. If you want to kind of have that feeling of being cocooned, even in a public place, you can do it. Just like, just like this beautiful woman right here, the wellspring. What are you thirsty for? What needs nourishing? Ask yourself that question. What needs nourishing? I'm also hearing take a break as well as take a breath. Body care. So there's a huge emphasis here on nourishing ourselves, nourishing our energy. I'm also being shown now the, the Ace of Cups and this cup being full, filling our cups. They want me to pop one more card here. The Wellspring, yeah. Yeah, they're showing me this energy of this full moon reverberating. Interesting. Yeah, cleansing, here we go. Releasing the old, energetic tune-up, new beginnings. 
cleansing. I'm seeing a portal in this card of cleansing. Like a water portal is what I'm seeing. They're showing me an energy of almost like traveling through the water, astral traveling through water. Um, I'm seeing like a wormhole that's filled with water. Okay, so some of this can also be connected to clearing out energetic cords. This would be the time to do it because the moon, they're really connecting us to, to Luna, to Selini. They're really connecting it to her in terms of working with her energy, her natural rhythms. Can't emphasize that enough. Nothing artificial in that, in here. Um, that is what they're showing me. They're showing me an image of Luna raining like a waterfall. Like she's a waterfall. And with her waning phase, this is a good time to do these practices, okay? Bounteous at the bottom of the deck, generously given relationships and coming together. So I'm getting a few different messages coming through with this. They're actually showing me the Three of Cups with this card. There's a Three of Cups energy with this card and like a Four of Wands combo here. Interesting. Okay, so this Three of Cups energy is coming together, this celebration generosity, cups overflowing. We've done, we're doing the self-care. We're nourishing ourselves. We are quenching what we're thirsty for. And in doing so, that aligns us to just like, um, just like Ralph Ray has spoken of before, it aligns us to right relationship and right relationships. Okay, this four of wands energy that wants to come in is being reflected on the water. Like I'm seeing wands energy as being light energy reflecting off of the water of self-care. If that, if that translates in any way for you, see what comes through for that. What is that for you? Okay, that's very much an activation point that they want to bring through here. So this four of wands, remember four is the number of stability. This filling up your cup, this nourishing yourself, this honoring of your feelings, this recognizing that you are beautiful and more than enough is going to align you in a very solid way to the truest joy and celebration is what they're bringing through for me with this Four of Wands, to aligning to right relationship. And they're showing me this right relationship in terms of not just to others, but to yourself. And they want me to finish by holding up this because it all starts here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you to the beautiful whale and orca elders, the Syrian collective, this whale and dolphin realm is what I'm seeing. The water the light, the air, this energy coming through. I'm getting a lot of fire energy with those wands and that light, okay? I thank you for being here, for sharing your energy, your time with us in this space. And I'm sending you so much love wherever you are, in love and liberation, always.